Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today is episode 55 of our Liverpool Rebuild. Um, probably the penultimate episode. Um, we might get three out of it, but very unlikely, more than likely two. As you can see, we're in the round of 16 of the UEFA Champions League, taking on Ben Faker next. When it comes to the Premier Division, we are... Uh, Nine games to go. We've got a two-point advantage over Manchester United. Uh, it's pretty tight. We've uh, also got, I'm pretty sure, we have a uh, Carabao Cup final in there. And we are also doing well in the FA Cup. On all fronts, we are doing quite well. So, unfortunately, as you can see last episode, we uh, we slipped up and we lost 1-0 to Southampton. And... Uh, we weren't very happy with uh with that result there so we've got plenty to uh to turn around in that respect because um that result there was pretty diabolical if we're going to be completely honest a few guys back which is well needed we need a full strength side that is for certain we need to do much much better Okay. So rice was available. And his cellar. The poor radio. Okay, that's going to be how I'm going to start this game. It's good to see, actually, that like I now... It does take a few years, obviously, to try and build it up, but uh, I finally have a side where there are no three-star players. So uh, we need another man on the bench who will be most definitely yeah, Emery. I feel as though I've kind of got the perfect blend for the squad here. I'm definitely a couple of players that I would I would get rid of if opportunity arised. But obviously, as we're uh, we're now finishing off this rebuild, uh, there is literally no point. So it's Laporte into Rice, his ball over the top. Salah knocks it down. It's only one man. It's Hendrick. Pounces, sticks it home. Going to be a shame going into FM24 knowing that he's practically going to be unpurchasable after his Madrid move. And there he is, he's gone and got himself a second one. It's good work from Bellingham. Nice one too with Hendrik and Salah. And Hendrik smashes it into the far corner. 2-0, coasting, comfortable. After our three-one away win in Portugal, this practically seals the deal, and that is a hat trick for Hendrik. Good work by Davis. Shot was saved from Salah. Hendrik is there to poke it home and make it Hendrik three, Benfica nil. And now we'll see us going into the quarterfinals of the Champions League. You love to see it. Salah's taken a knock. We'll put on Zakarian. Normally Zakarian or Waller. Not much to report since the hat-trick, but um, 
it's a really really good start to the game so we can't uh, can't complain it's four and I believe that's Hendrix 50th oh that's a lovely ball from Zakarian great finish as well I think that's that's with Endrick that could be uh, and Zakarian has actually scored with Endrick. I think that's fifty in two years. I might might very well be wrong there. Good save from the keeper from Diaz's shot. But uh, Zakarian puts it home. We will make plenty of changes, there is no point. Natter in the boys out. point of making the right changes uh, Casido can come on for two Shemini and we will bring on Andreas third luck that will be our five just a was a carrying free kick and Antonio Silva hits the bar and it is pounced on and put into the back of the net by third luck uh, who's been on the field for probably about 10 seconds. 6-0, convincing. Exactly what the doctor ordered for a good start to the episode. Very much like to keep a clean sheet here if possible, gentlemen. It is looking that way. Cracking result that really, very good. Hendrick, phenomenal. Four goals. Intrigued to sort of see how um how he's doing in the respect of uh, that's there you go. So it's uh Hendrik Vlaovic. Followed by Harland and in Mega. But Hendrik is the boy there. Let's have a quick look in regards to Hendrik. So in all fairness. 19 now yeah so it literally has been i think this was a season uh half a season pretty certain of it so basically he scored 50 goals in 14 months that's uh that's pretty decent and that's a and i will say this to anyone it, when, when, if you're going to play fm 23 depending on what database you're on he should be the man that you're looking to get straight away. Um, and in, all, in all fairness, if you do that, depending on what formation you play, um, he can play off the right. He can play directly dead up top as I play him. Um, uh, he's got a striker there for 15 years, um, depending on how you play. It could even be 20 years. Um, he is phenomenal. Straddle up's going to come in. I'm also going to stick in Gavardio as well. Uh, I know Zakarian just played and he actually played really, really well. But Zier Emery is more the man I need to be putting in now. Away to Norwich. Quite an important uh, game here, really, to be honest. A game I would not like to think that we should be losing.
Nothing as of yet. And we have left off Alexander Arnold's bowling, and there's only one man again. And that man's name is Hendrick. And we have got another one. It's Hendrick. Cuts it back. Alfonso Davis. Back into Hendrick. And it's, uh, it's another one for him. I've just spoke very highly about him. Praised him on this game. How good he is. And uh, we are only five years into this game. He's nowhere near his prime. Speaks volumes, I think. Please for the half. Can't uh, can't take anything away from the the boys. Yep, Sarah's hurt again. We're gonna have to give him a break, I think. And make a couple of changes now as well. Andrew Robertson. Moist Casino. Yeah, I'm all right with that. So, well, you kind of got to give it to Hendrick for the hat trick, haven't you? Coolly done back to back hat tricks for our main man. Good penalty, and it's a really good start to the episode, to be honest. This, uh, Nine goals scored and zero conceded right now. Very, very good. I just want to check the scores from... Oh, I don't think I hit the right button there. How did Manchester United do? They lost to Aston Villa. Tell us out for three or four weeks. So if we have a look at the Prem, go at the player stats. It's Harland, Sesco, Endrick, then Emega. Some normal names scoring goals in lots of different competitions there. So it's hotting up in that respect. We have lost Salah. Right in time for the Carabao Cup final. Could not have come at a worse time. So we've got some top talents here. Um, not that I will ever see them play. But I will offer them stuff just because... I always choose the second uh, option. It always seems to benefit me by doing that. Okay. We are the favourites, but we are not odds on. Oh. Gavardio is capable. Which means I need to be clever here. And I'm going to use Laporte. Davis is suspended. Salah is injured. 
So we're a few players short here. Which isn't ideal. Put on Cade Gordon. That's how we're going to go. Hendrick sitting there at four and a half stars, by the way. Fully deserved. Can we win some silverware this episode? We are about to find out. And can you believe who's got us off to the good, good start? I can. Andrew Robertson's ball across and Hendrick puts it away. And it's 1-0 inside the first seven minutes. Eight minutes rather. A very good start. If opportunity arises once uh, this season is complete and I can do a little bit of work and sort of maybe go a few years into the future i will it's very highly unlikely i'm very very busy with work as um seems to be the way for the last few months um so hopefully when gets ain't done but uh, it's just time dependent um who knows it no penalty after the video review um it could be just straight into fm24 when that opportunity arises um that could be something completely different that could be me taking control of a couple of teams who i haven't taken control of um to the oh we've got another one Hendrick. he's obviously fallen back a little bit he's played it inside to wanna who oh Melia could not keep that out powerful effort from wanna has put us tuning up um, but two ideas I have been considering is two teams I'm fans of from other countries. Um, I've always liked Ben Faker. Um, I think they are a uh, an interesting one. Um, I think you can dominate with them domestically in Portugal. Uh, it looks like they've got one back. It's Jota back to get Cody Gakpo. Two real life Liverpool players there. Um, and we're on for a close one here. We definitely need to uh, do a little bit more here and try and get one more to try and seal this game off. Uh, the other thing that I am considering doing a save with is actually Red Bull Leipzig. Uh, um, I do have a soft spot. For Leipzig and it is something that I am considering to be doing um, for next time out so try something different we've gone a bit domestically this uh, this game with Southampton and obviously Liverpool and uh, so we'll see what happens but for the moment we concentrate on FM 23 And to walk another trophy, the Carabao Cup is coming back to Anfield. We managed to get the job done. It's been a tough road that one, but we eventually got there. And we lift the Carabao Cup again. Good work. Very well done. Bit of a scare at the end there, obviously, with uh, Gakpo pulling back one, one back for Newcastle. But it weren't enough for the goals from Hendrick and Wanner had secured us. The game. Delighted for the boys. Well done. Interesting to see. Uh, on the history and we go to past winners 
so according to this it's the second time we won it in a row and the third final that we've made in five years quite pleasing that to be fair Manchester United won their game against Middlesbrough convincingly so that's the Carabao Cup Throughout the last six years. Very good. Still got the chance to win three other trophies. Brentford away FA Cup and I have reached 300 games in management so I'm going to make a couple of changes for this because I have noticed that there are some players who are um, a little bit tired So we do need to make some changes here. Something like that. Gordon will come out. Alfonso Davis can go on the bench. It's a very changed side but it has to be done because um, a lot of the guys are knackered I know I've got international break coming up and I could have knackered them and then they'd have been knackered for international duty but I feel like just doing a bit of squad rotation it's still good enough that side is still good enough to win this game Just hope I don't, I don't get proved wrong now when we lose it. Well, so far, it's been a, not the most entertaining of games. Declan Rice has found the back of the net. Love to see it. Oh, it's made quite easy for him, to be honest. So, it's a... Uh... Goal to nil at the break. Not been the most of uh, entertaining games of football in any way, shape or form. Rice is giving everything. Okay. So we haven't got long left. Just 
change it up, put some fresh legs on. And this is exactly why I did it, to try and get that second goal to kill him off. Be lovely if it's Hendrik. Oh, slurred up. Strakowska could have done so much better with both end goals. But, for me personally, it doesn't matter. I've got the team rested. Um, lots of changes. And we still managed to get her a 2-0 win there, which is um, very, very good. And uh, that puts us into the semi-finals of the FA Cup, which is uh, lovely. And joining us will be Leeds United, Manchester City and Manchester United. Two-point lead in the league. Game in hand. Everything so far has been pretty good. Got Middlesbrough up next. One thing I did just see that flashed up that I didn't see beforehand. Actually looks like um, we've got Chelsea in the Champions League. I'll skip that. Hopefully, I'll get Leeds. But no, we get Manchester City. Would have been nice, but you know, you can't get everything you want. Alfonso Davis. Injured for us, unfortunately. As always, I don't mind loaning them for nothing when they like that, but you have to make them a regular star. No point loaning them if they're going to just go as a squad player and it will go wrong. Yeah, again, has to be a regular starter. Okay, Gordon. Injured now as well. Injury this is growing. Probably at the worst time possible for us. One week away from playing bottom of the table, Middlesbrough. Can we keep this game going? This run has been very, very good so far, especially more cup cup competition wise, but so far it's been very, very good. Dennis Seaman, potential five star. Well all the saves I've done and I've had him. He's never had five star potential. Gonzalez and Westwood and Kamara. There's genuinely not much point in me scouting players, is there? This is gonna be the, the last last time I'm uh, the last season I'm I'm doing.
into April we go. Oh, I mean, if I do carry on, look at this guy. What a good looking player. have all the compensation you want and look at Paul Wenner potential max out of three and a half he is much better than that I can tell you that now silver can start as can TAA, Tushimini, Hendrick, and also Paul Wanner. Bottom of the table, Middlesbrough. They're fighting for their lives, we're fighting for the title. Should be a good game, miss. No, we'll keep rice on for the moment. And you would never guess who's put us ahead here. Wanner's knocked down. Hendrick blasted in the corner. It's 1 0 to Liverpool. Okay, so I'm pleased because we've been defensively sound. They can't get near us. It's been quite comfortable at the moment. Definitely need a second one to try and kill this game off. That is for certain. Changes incoming. Four new faces. Nick Cavardio can come in at left back, that's fine. And we have got our second, Tushimini and Cancelo. Cancelo's cross is met by Zakarian and it's gone in. And it is 2 0. Should be enough to seal the points, which is exactly what we want. Just, I hope there's a Man United slip up somewhere. Hope being the key word. Two nil, nice win. Manchester United, on the other hand, look like they've got a victory. 2-0 away win at Bournemouth. And that practically seals Middlesbrough's fate and Palace are not far behind them. 
in regards to us, we are uh, we're looking in really good stead at the moment. A couple more wins will actually secure us uh, Champions League football already, but that is uh, not the big story. The big story is obviously we are going for the title. So. Got to hope on a United slip up, and that will really um, open up the gates, as far as I'm concerned. Chelsea away in the Champions League. Okay. I'm not going to be particularly easy. You can see at the bottom of the screen there; they're sitting in sixth. Fully expect a tough day in the office. George Rodriguez, one point eight seven million pounds. Very, very nice. Shame we never want to get to use him. He's coming in though. Salah can play, which is a a plus. That means he will definitely be on the bench. I don't think I'm going to change much, if I'm honest. That's how I'm going to go. Only change I could have made there possibly could have been slurped up for Diaz. Um, but Diaz has done quite well. So this is a big one. Quarterfinals of the Champions League. Away at Chelsea. Tough game. No joy so far. Wouldn't be disappointed with a draw here, if I'm honest, but... I'd much rather that we at least got a goal here. Okay. So I've seen enough there to say that I need to make at least two changes. Cancelo. And Schlerdlup will come on. Yeah, happy with Sierra Emery. And we've got a goal behind it. Looks like Raheem Sterling. Cut back on himself. Cut in. Rice has got to be doing better there. It's a fantastic finish. Let's not uh, let's not take anything away from that. We're going to go down, but we have just equalised. If Cancelo's tackle one has balled in, and Endrick has hit it against the post, it's actually nearly gone all the way to the other post. But uh, we got our equaliser within a minute.
I'd be quite happy with a school draw here. I knew Chelsea weren't going to be any mugs. Okay, that's not too bad. I'll go with Satisfied there. How did the other games go? Bayern beat PSG 2-1, Milan beat West Ham 1-0. And Real Madrid have beaten Leipzig. VAR oh, helped Liverpool. <laughs> we could speak about VAR and Liverpool for a few hours after her. some of the stuff was. Uh, Gone on in recent developments in real life, that's for certain. We won't go there though. Okay, now I have Brentford. Gonna get a seller. I should load it up starts. Okay. Definitely a game that we need to be taking advantage of here. Now we find ourselves a goal behind. And it looks like Wahi. Funnily enough, I uh, I watched the game. I'm obviously uh, recording this a few days before it would actually go out. But I actually saw Wahi score for Lons last night in a 2-1 win against Arsenal. It's been a goal, Salah. Cavardio's header, I'm not sure why that would have been given as offside, unless there was a foul in there somewhere. At this current moment in time, we are being held by Brentford, which is not, uh, not ideal, as of right now. And the goal is upheld, Salah. Gavardio again, it's exactly the same. It practically is the same goal, and they still were still at the arm of it, to be honest. They, uh, they were looking at, at VAR and everything else again. I don't know why, but. And it's 2 2. Dam's guards cross. Tony and Wahi has put it away. It is 2-2. Two, two. Oh, I've got to go with angry there. We've not defended well at all. The whole of my left side needs to uh, needs to come off here. <sighs> so third lap will make way for Diaz. It's something that really got to change with this game. Oh, 
made a couple of subs. Hopefully this can be spurred on with Diaz up top. Be nice if they can do something here. So it's not looking very likely at the moment. Oh well, we have got one. Bellingham through it's Lewis Diaz. That's a lovely finish. Really lovely finish there. Is it going to be enough to seal us the points? It would be if that goal counts because everything seems to be VAR related at the moment. It's Salah who's on the left, who's drilled it across the goalkeeper and has, uh, has finished the game off for us. And unbelievably enough, we've won a game of football without Indrik scoring. What is going on league-wise? United win again. 3-0 over Southampton. It's, uh, it's getting very, very tight at the top. Palace have gone. And we are about to play our final game of the episode as we are about to play Chelsea at home in the Champions League. Can we advance into the semi-finals? Oh, look at this. Injuries galore. Profit made in the Prem. Uh, we have made a profit. Which is nice to see. I think I'll play silver for Cavardio. Other than that, we're good to go. Do or die must win here at home. Can we get ourselves into the semi final of the Champions League? We're about to find out. Hendrick is offside. Okay, so not a very good first half there. And we have taken a lead. Bellingham's ball over the top is chased through by Hendrick. Wouldn't be any other way, would it? Let's be honest, it's 1 0 to Liverpool.
Yeah, Hendrick can make way. Fitness only fair. Kelsey, you've got one back. Scalvini, Enzo. And what a hit there. What a hit. Plum has put them back into this. We are going to extra time. Should have lads are absolutely done for. And we've gone two one ahead, this is Carrion Casido. Straight back over his end rush level up. It's a great finish. Yeah, again, I think they're looking towards VAR. But we are now 3-2 ahead. Can we see the game off? Jorginho has had a goal ruled out and we have actually gone through. We are in the semi-final of the Champions League. That's a really, really, really good effort. Cup-wise, we've made two semi-finals. Uh, one uh, or another competition. I'm not going to count the Community Shield for the time being. And we also have a really good chance of uh, winning the Premier League again. And... Uh, we are looking pretty, pretty good. Uh, the only problem we now have is we have Real Madrid and this Bayern Munich and West Ham who have obviously overcome uh, AC Milan. So from my perspective, this, uh, everything is coming up pretty good, to be fair. Um, it's, it's crunch time now. Next episode, we've got a we've got a fair few amount of fixtures to try and get through, and this is why I said it could end up being two shorter episodes, dependent probably what happens. Not entirely sure that I'm going to be able to get nine games done in that time, so it's probably going to be two episodes. But they're they're basically saying that four teams can still win this. Um, which I think is pretty ridiculous, if I'm honest. This is definitely a two-horse race, but when you look at the fixtures, you know, um, the big difference being is our Fulham away game. That is our uh, game in hand. And then after that, we've got three at home and United. We have an extra home game in there. So that's pretty vital for uh, the title race. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm quietly confident, and um, if we can win, definitely in one of the FA Cup or the Champions League, that'll be a very, very successful season. So that is going to be the end of today. Please give us a like. Please subscribe if you haven't. Turn the bells on to be notified when a video goes live. Take care of yourselves. See you soon for another episode. Have a good day.